Right, it's day five on the uh, West Island Way walk now. Now the 10th of May. It's just gone uh, 10 to uh, 9 in the morning. Uh, and I've left the uh, By The Way campsite. Quite a nice campsite. Uh, this morning it's quite chilly. And you can see there's quite a bit of cloud in the, in the sky. I don't think it's going to rain. Looking at the weather forecast, I've just had the weather forecast on my phone updated um, using the Wi-Fi at the campsite. And the, uh, it, 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 according to the BBC web, uh, weather app, it's going to be cloudy like this for most of the day. But in the um, afternoon, when I get onto Rannock Moor, it should maybe get a little bit of sun. Not a lot, but a bit of sun and cloud. We'll see what, what happens. Well, I'll do a bit more recording later. Oh. Right, it's just a little bit further on. I've only been um, walking now for 25 minutes. Uh, you can see the uh, rail line there, and there's also a road to the left as well. And on the track in front of me, there's what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like eight people walking in front of me. It's a bit of a uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a queue. This is what I was trying to uh, avoid. Uh, maybe I ought to have got up a little bit earlier, but I uh, I went for breakfast in the um, oh, what's it called the Real Food Cafe in Tindrum. Um, I, I don't really recommend it. It wasn't that nice, but uh, it gave me a bit of fuel. Right, let's see how we get on. Right, I'm now at the Bridge of Orkey. Uh, there's the hotel. I've been to the station, well, I've walked underneath the railway line at the station, come down the hill. It's now coming up to quarter past 11. I'm a bit here, a bit earlier than I planned. So I was gonna get a drink here or something, but I think a few miles on, there's another hotel that I can uh, I can get a drink. So I'll wait until then until I, and I'll keep plodding on. Oh, I've just stopped for a uh, drink of water. Uh, it's after the Bridge of Orkey. You've got a bit of a climb up a, up a, a slope there into the woods. And uh, now there's no breeze at all. So I'm in the woods and the sun is just starting to come out. Still a lot of cloud, but it's just starting to poke through. Taking the fleece off. It's only a micro fleece, but uh, it's just getting too warm again. I don't think today's going to be as hot as uh, yesterday or the day before, but... Uh, I think certainly it'll be another warm day. And it looks like I'm heading up into the trees a bit more. Right, just a little bit further on now. I believe that, oh God, bless you. There it is. I believe that that is the uh, Inveranan Hotel. Um, I'm gonna stop there. The time is now just gone 12 o'clock, so by the time I get down there, it's going to be, I don't know, half, half 12, one, something like that. Um, yeah, because the path winds down here, around about a bit. Uh, stop there, something to eat, maybe, something, something to drink, um, before I go up onto Rannock Moor. Uh, I'm certainly making good time here. I'm, I wasn't expecting to get here this early. Oh well, kill a bit of time. I'm now at the uh, Victoria Bridge. It's only about, well, I don't know, 20 minute walk from the uh, the uh, hotel I just left. Just had some dinner there. That's very nice here. There's plenty of places, well, there's places to camp around here. Down here you can see people have been camping, but I'm guessing this is why they're starting to ban people from ca while camping down um, the east coast of uh, Loch Lomond, the mess they leave. They've had a fire pit there, and just you know, look at it. There's no need for that, really. I mean, you can easily camp up here, leave no trace. Do you really need to have an open fire? I don't really think so. But anyway, enough of me moaning. Oh, I'll be walking on. And this, I believe, is now Rannock Moor. Go a little spin around. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. 
that's back the way I came. That's where I'm going. I think I've got about another four miles to go on here before I um, camp, just after Bar Bridge is where I'm planning to camp at the ruin. Um, I was chatting to another another um, West Highland Way walker up like about 10 miles back and he, he said he was going to camp tonight at the uh, at Bar Bridge. Um, that was going to be my backup plan in case uh, at the ruin there was uh, a whole load of cat, uh, tents there. But I'm, I'm going to be one of the first again. I always, get, I always get to where I'm meant to be, where I'm planning to go too early. It's now 20 past uh, two in the afternoon. Um, I, I should imagine I'll be there by, I don't know, four, four, half four, something like that. Um, plenty of time to uh, pitch my tent and let it dry out a little bit because uh, this morning, well, last night, my plan was to um, leave the, the fly sheet door on the, on the tent open. I did it the night before, um, so you don't get a problem with condensation inside. Um, but last night where I pitched the tent in the campsite, it seemed to be right where everybody wanted to walk by. So I, uh, I shut the, uh, the fly sheet up and I had condensation in, in the morning. Uh, so uh, it's a bit damp inside at the moment, my tent. It's always like that, you really have got to uh, leave the fly sheet open at night. Uh, but the weather is uh, nice and clear. Oh, sorry, the weather's nice and uh, fine. It's not. Every now and again, the sun comes out, and then it gets quite warm. But there's hardly any breeze at all. Again, I don't think there's. I don't think I've. <laughs> I don't think I felt much of a much about much wind up here since I've been up all week. Uh, but uh, yeah, as soon as I can get to um, pitch my tent and let it dry out, it should dry out easily. And I'll brew myself a coffee. Right, that's it for a moment. Well, here I am on uh, Rannoch Moor, um, just past uh, Bar Bridge. Bar Bridge is back, oh crocky. Bar Bridge is probably just, just down over the dip there. Uh, I've come along the track a little bit more and I'm up here by the ruin. I think it's called, is it maybe Bar Cottage Ruin? I can't remember, something like that. Uh, so that's going to be my view in the morning if the weather's clear. Uh, the time is now 20 to 4, so I've got here a little bit early again. I've got this habit of getting to the places too early. But in a way, I wanted to get here early because I. I wasn't sure how many camping spots it would be, but you can see there's a whole load of camping spots you could have around here and around the other side and in front. And uh, where that mound is there, you, there's a camping spot in there, back down by Bar Bridge. Um, there's camping spots all, all the way along there, really. But uh, you can see the uh, what's left by from other people. Half burnt wood. I'd love to know where they find this wood too, because as you can see, there's there's no trees or anything around here. I mean, there, I know there is back along a bit further. Oh, hang on, maybe maybe a bit of that is a fence stake. I don't know. But And somebody's built a wall. <laughs> that was already here. But I'm making full use of it. Got my tent up. Uh, like I said, condensation on the inside. I don't know, could, I don't know if you can, if that, the camera's picking that up, but you can see this condensation drop. It's all on the inside. So, um, and the, the floor of the tent inside, I don't know if it's picking it up there again, is damp as well. Got damp patches on it as well. That's all condensation. Uh, the last, like I say, the last campsite, um, I was going to leave the door open, but because where I pitched up was right where everybody was walking by, I did shut the, the, uh, the, the outer fly for the, uh, for the night, and that led to the condensation. So, um, got it open now, it should dry in no time. Certainly by the time I want to climb in there, it should be uh, dry. But um, here I am. Every now and again I see uh, some people, oh, where is it, walking along down there, that's where the path is. And right into the distance uh, there is a, a main road going along there. Oh, there's a couple of people.
people over there want looking at it. Alright, well, this is me for the night. Right, so today I started off in Tindrum. Uh, the campsite was right here. It, it, it in fact backed onto the railway line that the campsite did. Um, there were no trains through the night though, so that wasn't a problem. Right, and this morning I walked down to the main road and went into um, Real Food uh, Caf. Um, it looks all new and fancy inside, but it is, it's just basically a greasy spoon. Um, I can't really recommend it. It, it. The food wasn't particularly nice at all. Um, but anyway, it, it filled me up a little bit. Then I walked back to the campsite, packed up, and then went back along the, uh, the trail. And it, along this bit here, it, it tends to go on and on and on. And the whole time, you get the noise of the road the whole time. It's a bit of a shame, but there you go, can't be helped. Bridge of Orkey. Uh, I was going to thinking about stopping there midday, but I got there a bit early, so uh, I, I didn't stop there. I carried on up and then onto the next map. There's Bridge of Orkey again. Onto the next map. Oh, there I am. Up along. Inveran Hotel. That's why I stopped there. Uh, very nice. Pinini and a pint. Um, had a good chat with some other, other walkers and that. And then left there. Back up. And this is where you get onto the old, I think it's the old military road. Um, all the way along. That down. That's it. And Bar Bridge. That was my, uh, that was where I was going to camp. If where I am now is all, all busy, and where I am is just past Bar Bridge up to Bar Cottage Ruin. That's where I am now. And if, if you want to stay here yourself, that's the kind of view you get. I'm probably spinning this miles too fast. Apologies, but there you go. 